Hey, what is up? And welcome back everybody to another episode of The Film Chronicles. And in today's episode, I'm going to be discussing my anticipation and my thoughts for Spiral from the Book of Saw. It's an upcoming horror film that's going to be uh, connected to the Saw franchise, but not directly connected to the last film, which I think was Saw the Final Chapter or something like that. I don't know. There was like seven or eight. I think this one's the eighth one, so there were seven exactly. And I can't express enough how excited I am for this film, guys. It looks really, really good. It's an interesting concept that has a pretty cool origin that I'll get into when we start the video. So let me just get the introduction out of the way. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel and are just now flowing in, be sure to hit that like button. Um, leave a comment on what you think about this film and maybe what your favorite Saw film is and what you hope to see in this film. And be sure to click that subscribe button it's down on your bottom right and then turn on that notification bell so that way you guys get all the new updates for every new video that i put out i'm going to be trying to do it more frequently so stay tuned and let's get right into this thoughts and discussion so this concept was actually pitched by chris rock and it he also serves as an executive producer for this film so the concept was just to kind of reinvigorate the franchise and breathe a uh, breath of fresh air into it so to speak so whatever he pitched the lionsgate ceo loved it and he wanted to get this uh pretty much off the ground and into reality so here we are now it's coming out real soon and it is directed by a saw veteran director daryl lynn boosman he did saw 2 saw 3 saw 4 this film in particular is being written by josh stoberg and peter goldfinger and james wan and lay one now are coming back to be executive producers they've been serving as executive producers since the inception of this obviously james wan directed and written the first one which started the whole thing so it has a lot of love and a lot of fandom so it's cool to see this come back and i'm excited to see this one in particular because it looks so different and stand standalone but also you can see the obvious connections and what is going on so i'm excited to see how it plays out and what how exactly the lore of the first saw franchise so to speak the the one that's you know prior to this and what that means for this film and the plot of this film so it's pretty exciting to kind of dig into it but you know with with that kind of background out of the way obviously this is you know produced and uh, going to be released by Lionsgate and Twisted Pictures, so it's going to be pretty cool to see that. And I believe it's going to be debuting on HBO Max as well as a same day premiere, so that's going to be pretty cool to see. I can't wait to uh, watch it over and over and then review it. Um, and the cast looks really stellar. I mean, we have Chris Walk here as the main protagonist, Detective Ezekiel or Zeke. Uh, Banks and we have Max Mangala as Detective William Shank who's kind of that rookie detective the young gun on the case that that has to be partnered up with Chris Rock's character and then um, we have a Marisol Nichols as the Captain Angie and we have Samuel Jackson playing um, Marcus Banks who is going to be um, Chris Rock's father in the film and their their familial connection also has ties to the plot of the film just from what we can gather from the trailer just because the whoever's targeting and whoever's doing these these uh, jigsaw like traps are uh, aware of who this detective is and who his family is so there's obviously a role that they play in the history of this so i'm excited to see how that turns out and what becomes of that so we got that going for us and yeah there's kind of just not a whole lot of detail on this to be honest it's all kind of hush hush and kind of kept in the dark i didn't even realize i think most people didn't realize that they were even going to go back to the saw franchise but you know here we are now today so it's one of my most anticipated projects i mean that's for sure i'm excited to see you know what becomes of this and what this spawns because they're already planning a, a saw 10 or saw 9 because i don't know i don't know if this is 8 or 9 but i mean they're already planning other films within this you know once this comes out so they have a lot of faith in this film and that's exciting to um, see and also hear because that you know some that that for most of for the most part that goes to show that the film's going to be really good so i'm excited to see what unfolds in front of us with this film it has a lot of seven vibes mixed with you know the saw traps and whatnot and i like kind of the detective angle too reminds me of like prisoners and true detective and stuff like that so 
I'm really excited. It's got my attention. 10-10 just from the trailers alone. Like I'm excited to see what this brings to the table. So those are my thoughts and that's my little discussion. If you guys have anything else to add, go ahead and leave um, some points in the comments and yeah, let's discuss more. Thank you guys so much for sticking by for this quick little video. I hope you guys have a good one. Be sure to check out all my other videos that I've dropped today. Make sure to keep that notification bell on because you would have got those notifications for these videos because they're going to be coming pretty frequently now that i'm adjusting so once again thank you guys so much for joining in and as always have a great day